Hey guys, as you guys know, I live in Japan, and I'm sure you guys also know I heckin' love Genshin. Woo! Yip. But guys, it's been weighing on my mind. I think Genshin has taken over Japan. That's right, I think Genshin is plotting a little devious scheme trying to infect all of Japan with their merchandise and branding. And I have some perfectly reasonable evidence to suggest this might just be true. Like for example, the other day I went to a sushi restaurant, we sushi, but then I opened the menu and there's Genshin sushi. <laughs> like what the heck man? I did get a cute sticker though, so that was this is not that bad. In any case, you know me. I had to investigate. And what better way to investigate than to visit the Genshin epidemic, the center of it all, Akihabara. That's right, Akihabara. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? I am in Anime Land, Akihabara. Take a look at that. I got my friend today, my lovely friend here, to help me film today's video. Today's video, we're gonna check out Akihabara. Specifically, we're gonna see if Genshin has really taken over Akihabara. You see, I have a theory. I have a theory that Genshin has taken over Japan. That's right, taken over, infected. So we're just gonna walk around Akihabara and um, we're just gonna take a look what kind of Genshin stuff I can find. You know, I'm a big Genshin fan and you know, let's see if we can find our favorite five stars. Let's go. So I don't actually know if we'll be able to find the any Genshin stuff. Cause actually over here, if you, if you film over here, wait, just film over there. Right here. Oh, just come, come here, <laughs> right there. There used to be Genshin stuff on this lane, in this road. There was a bunch of Genshin stuff, but they're gone now. Well, it was there last year, but not here anymore. All right, we're just gonna walk around. I do not know if we're ever gonna actually find it, but we're just gonna enter random stores and we'll see. Guys, we found our first Genshin. That's our first piece of evidence that Genshin has taken over Japan, right there. If that doesn't say anything, I don't know what does. You see, that's the that's the blonde hair girl and blonde hair boy. I actually don't remember their names, even though I played the game. If you guys don't know, this is the first place I actually came to in Japan last time. Um, I came here with Casey. We came here when it ha there was a typhoon. Um, the typhoon was awful. It was completely drenched. I was completely drenched with my friend. It was pretty bad. But now it's like beautiful. It's great. Oh, guys, look. Here we go. Yet another piece of evidence that Genshin has taken over Japan. Look at Chiori. I actually know her name this time. Jesus Christ, look at her beautiful thunderous thighs. It's incredible. Do you even, do you know her? Cameraman? Camera woman. Yeah, sorry. Uh, she's very mid. You know what mid means? Means, um, means uh, she's, she's trash. She's trash. Oh, uh, <laughs> nah, she's okay, she's okay. She looks cool though. Do you think she looks cool? Yeah, I think she looks pretty cool. All right, let's move on. Let's keep finding more Genshin stuff. Kaboom, look at that. Sushiro and, what was it, Genshin? So that's a, if you don't know, that's Kokomi. And that's a, we call that a furry. You know what a furry is? You, you know a furry. That's like a lot of people I know. Anyway, there's a lot of sushi and Genshin collabs, I noticed. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's keep, let's keep going. Maybe we'll find some like Genshin stuff in the stores. <laughs> it li it's literally a dedicated sign for Genshin right here. It says five, what, does it say, does it say five on the fifth floor, right? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, let's, all right, let's go check it out. Genshin. Here we go. The mother load. Look at this. Look at this. You get, got all the characters. I wonder if they have the new one. Oh, they even have like books. Yokoso, subete no tabibito yo. Look at that. They have books. How much is this book? So that's pretty good. And then they look at this. They, they even have like Zhongli mouse pad. <laughs> oh, what is this? Li, li. First day gift. A birthday gift box. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. Mondstadt. They have Inazuma. So they have like a box for every region. They have Sumeru too, but they don't have Fontaine. That's so cool. So this, you can get like, if you, got, if you guys know anybody that loves Genshin, you can just get them a box. I don't know what's in the box. Do you, does it say what's in the box? It's a mystery. Where's my favorite character? Do you see a Ayaka, Ayaka? Wow. Does anybody here look uh, pretty to you? This one? Yeah, she looks pretty cute. Everyone loves Barbara. I like Barbara. She's pretty cute. 
I don't remember the names, but I think she's the Yelan Xiao. By the way, if you guys ever want to come here, you just go to a place called Animate, the best like chain anime store in Japan. And uh, there's a bunch of Genshin stuff. Genshin loves Japan. Is there more? <gasps> well, there's so much Genshin stuff. <gasps> Kawaii. This is so cute. What is this? A book? A notebook? I think. Wow. This is so cool. Oh, what is this? The gift bags, I think? Mm -hmm. Gift bag? <gasps> wow, so it's like mystery, right? Oh, wow, you can even buy like a bunch of mystery packs for $40, I think. I think they have like t-shirts or something. Wow, look at that. Clutching, not many people like her, for reasons. Ooh. And you can get some stands as well, look at that, boom. Hmm? I don't know what this is, but yeah. Mm. In other words, this is the best place on planet Earth. Genshin has taken over Japan, guys. This is incredible. Guys, the sauce. Guys, guys, guys. Found it. I actually found it. I freaking found it. I thought it was gone this whole time, but actually, it's been here the whole time for the six months. Look at this. <laughs> Benti. And I forgot his name. It's the wall. It's the street of Genshin. Each block here has like a bunch of the Genshin characters. There's Yilan all the way over there. Do you see Yilan? That's Yilan. Um, there's also, I don't remember his name, Rizli. We call him Rizli. You know what Riz is, camera woman? Riz. Riz means like what I have. I have Riz. Okay? Yeah. Do you think I have Riz? Okay. <laughs> Guys, in conclusion, Genshin has actually taken over Japan and um, I think I proved my point. For the rest of my life, I will be playing Genshin and spending money and going broke. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, I don't know, leave a like, sub subscribe. And if you guys did enjoy, let me know down in the comments below. And maybe I'll do something like this. I am cripplingly awkward in public. And this is my first time ever doing it. And this video is going to probably be terrible.